Hi YouTube world, happy new year. It is January 1st and I made some big commitments to myself this year. Uh, nothing like major new year's resolutions, never really been into that, but certainly wanted to achieve some stuff with respect to my beauty, my spending, my usage and all that good stuff. So if you are into that journey, if you want to remain inspired, if you want support, because I know I'm going to need some support, please stay tuned because we're kicking this off with Project Pan, my first Project Pan ever. I have decided to be quite ambitious, which I know breaks like all the rules of project panning, but I, I felt like I just had to start big. I feel really focused and I've been sort of on the side without really talking to anyone. <laughs> I have been project panning some things myself at the end of last year, but I really wanted to kind of mark the time and I thought you know, that would be enjoyable. I watch so many YouTubers that do it and I love seeing the progress. And so I hope you guys will love seeing the progress. So if project panning interests you, day one, intro, stay tuned. It's a lot, people. It's a lot. But I feel like I had to, I had to start big. I, I have a lot of kind of categories of my beauty, skincare, hair care that don't excite me. And yet I seem to have a lot of it. And so I wanted to use my project pan to focus in on that. So you won't see too much makeup, but there will be some makeup. What, what I really will be addressing though a lot is skincare, body care, hair care, because for me, those are my trouble my real trouble categories. Um, so let's just get started. First, let's talk about hair care. Dry shampoo. I used to really love this dry shampoo by Rockaholic. Um, Dirty Secret, is it by? No, it's Bedhead. It's Bedhead Rockaholic uh, Dirty Secret. This is a small travel can. I have a few of these. Um, I used to say this was my favorite dry shampoo and it's because it doesn't leave a gritty film um but now i realize it's really more of a texturizing spray than a dry shampoo it doesn't provide that kind of cleansing feeling so for that reason i'm, I'm going to try to work through it because i don't really do a lot with my hair in terms of texturizing so i'm going to try to get through these because i did discover sort of my favorite dry shampoo last year the next item I'm going to be using is the Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo in Bubbles and Berries. Now this is my favorite dry shampoo. I love this in every scent except for the original <laughs> perfume scent. I love the Coconut Colada. This one I adore. It smells like strawberry shortcake plastic doll when I was like growing up, there was this doll that you would squeeze the belly and it would like do a poof of air, a strawberry shortcake doll. And this is what that smells like to me. And I love the smell. It lingers in the hair and I actually really, really like it for that reason. And I love this, um, but I, I wanna get through my dry shampoos and I wanna get through them in some some order. I already have backs up, back up of these though. But um, yeah, I just wanna see some progress and not just kind of skip around with different fragrances of them because I don't have enough room in my bathroom for that. Oh, this, I have had this for a real long time. This is the Way Hair Oil. So you see, I've, I've actually already marked it. Um, I've had this for a while. It is a beautiful smell. If you love white flowers, if you love gardenia, that is the smell of this oil. It is delicious, delicious. It is though very, very heavy. Um, so you only have to use the tiniest bit. At least it's heavy for me. I have like a medium, medium kind of coarseness. Well, no, I have very straight hair, but it's sort of like medium in, in its amount. Like it's not super fine. It's not super thick. It's somewhere in the middle. Um, and I don't know, it just really, it's really easy to go overboard with this. So for that reason, I don't love it. 
even though I love the fragrance. The fragrance is delicious. So I'm going to try to get through this. This is going to take me a while. Yeah. I don't love body washes, and yet I have managed to amass quite a lot of body washes. One of those is from The Body Shop, and it's the Almond Milk and Honey. I... I'm making good progress on this. I wanna mark it and start making better progress. I will only use this scent in the daytime. No, in the evening, in the evening time. It, I'm weird. Um, it's not heavily fragranced. It has a really soft, soft smell. The almond honey and, and milk, it's, you really get the honey. The almond milk's really soft. It's a lovely fragrance. If you like these products, I will recommend it. It's also very creamy and sort of hydrating the suds. And so for that reason, I like it. But again, I'm not usually a body gel, shower gel person. And on the same note, I have another one from, from um, the body shop, the Satsuma shower gel. This one I love to use when I take a shower in the day. And this is a really bright orange smell, super citrus and refreshing. And for that reason, I like it. But again, like, I just, I want to get through these because if I am going to have a shower gel, I have one in mind, um, one for the day and one for the evening, and I'm, I'll am i be done with it. I have a favorite I've identified, and everything else is sort of like, it's nice, but not my favorite. And if you're interested in my favorite, it's the Dr. Broner's um, Almond or Lavender. Those are my favorites. So yeah, this is sort of I just miss that one and I and I won't let myself purchase it until I get through what I what I have. I am terrible with body lotion. I still think of myself as a 14-year-old that breaks out if I put like body oil or lotion on my body, even if my skin is now dry. I just can't conceptually for some weird reason get myself through that. So, yeah, I never use body lotion. It's not good though because I I, my skin does get quite dry and cracked and I need to be using it. So I went through my arsenal. I have some that I really am looking forward to getting to, but I have some that are standing in my way. And this is one of those that's standing in my way. I mean, this bottle is like, has seen better days and I've been trying since September to try to get through it, but um, we're gonna get through you. We're gonna get through you. This is actually a really lovely body lotion. This is Sensual Strut Body Lotion and this is from, oh shoot, I drew a blank. Could you see me drawing a blank in my eyes? It's, oh, the European Wax Center. You know that, that, um, that little boutique where you can get waxed? They have three or they have their own like brand that they sell of like products so scrubs and lotions and creams and this is one fragrance from their lotion i i hadn't gone there very often but i i did like this scent <laughs> this is sort of like this is a scent that my 18 year old self would have liked it's like old school victoria's secret or bath and body works it's sort of like a very sweet vanilla sugary scent i don't know i regretted it right when i bought it and it's taken me like literally two years to get to this point um it has to go but if you do like that sort of smell i don't blame you it's it's delicious if you want to smell like sugar it's delicious um sensual strut i and the um I used up very quickly though the scrub of this and the scrub was really really good actually but the lotion's just taken me a while and it's not greasy or anything it's really nice it absorbs into the skin nicely so it's just about habit for me and that's what I'm trying to address so that's the first lotion the second lotion this one it requires a little explaining this is a little sleepy from Lush ah oh, I love sleepy Sleepy and Twilight are the same. It's a lavender tonka smell, scent. I actually use this as aromatherapy. That's why it's a little container and it sits by the side of my bed. And I will grab some of this at night and I will rub it into my hands and my wrists and my arms. And it actually helps me go to sleep. All the kind of aromatherapy of it, it's just really soothing to me and it's really a sleep aid. That's why I have only a small jar and 
I don't suspect I'm going to be going through this too quickly, but I do want to get through it because Lush products are, they do have um, a very definite point at which they expire. You know, it's just something about the company and how they make products. They make them fresh and natural, and I really like a lot of their products. And Sleepy is absolutely my favorite. If you are into lavender, um, it is the best lavender smell because mixed with that tonka warmth it's almost it's almost sensual it's almost very it's sexy it's sexy i'm not gonna lie it's sexy so if you haven't smelled sleepy or twilight twilight is the body spray good stuff good stuff so uh, i'm just trying to get through that one um let's see for also body care i got this and I just have to, I'm hoping this will just help me keep to a routine and actually use it. This is by Sweet Spot Labs. They sell this at Ulta. It is the Buff and Brighten Body Exfoliating Pads. Banish bumps, brighten skin for bikini, legs, and underarms. Dermatologist and spa tested. It's 50 pads. It's this right here. And I was really intrigued by this. Um, I have some skin on my body that's darker than others, like on the elbows, um, definitely around like the bikini line area and not so much under my armpits too much, but, oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, so yeah, I, I, I got that for this reason, but it is something you have to use consistently. And so I want to just have this on my nightstand and make sure I use it every other night. And I feel like in two months I will get through it. I probably have gone through 10 pads right now and it says it has 50. So I feel like in two months time, this will be gone. And I would either see a difference or not see a difference and know whether I need to repurchase this. So I have been doing my nails consistently um, throughout this pandemic. I do them once a week. And this is the base coat I'm using. It's okay, it's not my favorite, but it's a nail strengthener. It's called Nail Tech Strengthener. Um, so I just wanna use it up and I have some others. I just feel like I have a lot of base coats and top coats and I wanna get through them. So that's this one here. And what I'll do is I will mark everything and weigh everything after this, create a list and so that my first month check-in will show you kind of the difference, if that makes sense. Um, you'll just have to trust me. You'll just have to trust me. Um, the next item up in, and now we're going to move on to skincare. I have this mask from Philosophy. This is the Purity Made Simple Pore Extractor. This is great. You just have to use it. So I have, it's up to here for me. This is probably the best blackhead remover on the planet. You use this twice and you will not have blackheads, but you have to consistently use it. I have very, very large pores on my nose, huge pores, huge, huge. Um, and so, yeah, it, this, this is one of the only things that really knocks it out of the park. You put this on your nose, you let it dry, and then you, uh, you wash it off and kind of scrub it too at the same time. It has these little beads. And the first time you will see some of your blackheads come off and by the second usage a few days later, you'll see all of them. It's pretty magical. You know, I do feel like philosophy in general, they have some really effective products, like especially products that feel like super satisfying when you use it, like something like this where you will see a difference. I love, I like that about them, but not all of their products are like that. But this is, this is a good one. The Purity Pore Extractor, if you struggle with blackheads if I was a teenager again and yeah I would have bought this for sure for sure but now as an adult still I'm still struggling with the blackhead thing um next up too I have this is sort of like body care now because this is the retinol pm fusion pm by Peter Thomas Roth this was a massive bottle I purchased at QVC I regret purchasing this because there's no way you can get through this before the product expires. So right now, this is essentially no longer an active retinol. Maybe there's elements of it that are uh, still kind of active, but I'm using it for my body. 
because I purchased a fresh one for my face because I did notice it just wasn't working the same way on my face, but it's still a nice hydrating oil and I do believe it'll have some exfoliating kind of properties. So I'm using this on my body, which is such a waste. But I think this is a perfect example of sometimes you should not buy value things like big sets, even if it's something you use because this product on your face, you use the tiniest amount and it covers your whole face. The, there's no way. And, and you know what? Now I realize when they sold this on QVC, they were showing people put it in on their thighs and back of the arms. And I was like, that's crazy. You're just wasting retinol. No, they, they knew what they were talking about because there was no way we were getting through that. Um, cleanser. I just purchased this. This is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Balm Cleanser. It's a balm cleanser. I've been using it. It has a really nice uh, soft, soft scent. It works well. Is it my favorite? No, it's not my favorite, but I'm gonna get through it. So I always do a, set, a two cleanse process at night. So this will go on first. It goes on quite nicely and breaks everything down. Um, I think what I don't like about it is if you get some in your eyes, you have that cloudiness in your eye until your eye kind of expels it. Um, not all bombs do that. And so for that reason, it's a no for me in the future, but I was happy to have it and use it. It does work as a remover. And so that's the one I'm focusing on right now. Um, for facial moisturizer, I've talked about this. This is the Marc Jacobs Youth Quake. I am making my way through it. It is, has a lovely scent. Um, it is a very nice moisturizer, but it's not my favorite. Um, I miss my favorite, and that is always a sign to me that, you know, I don't have to, you don't have to try so many things. And I think that's part of this is I want to get to a point where I'm very happy with some of the products I have. And for the ones where I'm like, is there something better out there? I can hone in on what those are. But I much prefer to use my money to try really like new cosmetics, I think is really my, my goal. New cosmetics or new maybe exfoliating skincare items, like items that are really like anti-aging. Those are the things that interest me the most and that's where I wanna be spending my money. But in order to spend my money, I gotta get through this stuff. Um, another skincare product, I'm almost done with this. It's really hard to tell. Oh, yeah, you could see. You can open up a drunk elephant. If you didn't know that, you can do that. Um, which, it's so funny. It's such a crazy waste of space. I wish Drunk Elephant would just sell this component with the item, and then we can recite, we can keep this part, because it's just silly to me. But anyway, I'm almost done with this. This is my favorite serum. Um, I love it. I already have a backup of it, so I'm going to keep using it. Um, there is another product, though, that I have right after this one, which I feel is a dupe. I don't want to talk about it right now because I'm not entirely sure, but I think I think I finally found a dupe for the freaking Be Hydra. It took me forever, forever to find a dupe, but I'll talk about that in another video when I go through kind of my skincare. Um, let's see, what else do we have in skincare? I thought it would be fun to do a couple of like um, sheet masks and treatments. I have a lot of sheet masks. I'm afraid they're gonna go off, so I definitely want to invest in it. So this one by Dr. Jart, Firm Lover, Firming. I'm, I don't even, I'm not really into firming, but. Um, this Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask by Wander Beauty. I have a couple of them that I want to remind myself to use. Um, this one by Karuna is an antioxidant face mask. Sure, I, I have it, I wanna try it. Um, some other like little, I have um, these micro, the micro deli delivery triple act triple acid brightening peel also by philosophy i find that these are excellent as well you have to be religious though about it and you have to use one pad 
once a week. And so I have four pads to get me through this month. Um, this is another excellent, excellent product of theirs for sure. Um, and then I have some minis, mini skincare that I thought would be um, helpful to go through. I have my retinol by Drunk Elephant, the A Passioni. I hate this, but I'm going to get through it because I paid for it. Um, I have a little Good Jeans Lactic Acid. I adore this. I'm always happy to have it in, in my grouping. Um, I, I've been using the Ice Ceramide Cream by Sunday Riley. Uh, I'm enjoying this. It's, it's on the thicker side, so definitely something I'm, I'm enjoying, but I don't know that I'm like over the moon in love with it just yet. Um, Drunk Elephant the C Firma, a little mini. I bet I'm almost done with this. Um, yeah, I, this is my favorite vitamin C cream on the planet. I mean, I know there are better out there. I just can't afford them. This is like the, the one that is the highest price point that I can actually afford that really does work. But I only like to buy them in small or maybe like they're medium size because it does turn very quickly. And I've gone through that heartbreak a few times already. Um, what other sort of minis do I have? I have a mini Umbra Tinted uh, Physical Daily Defense Broad Spectrum Sunscreen by Drunk Elephant. That one's like brand new and small. A Clarins Eye Makeup Remover. I don't adore this, but I definitely want to still use it. Um, I have a little Tatcha water cream i'm not the biggest fan of tatcha products but this one's actually not that bad um still not my favorite and so um i just want to kind of get through the sample that i have and i also have another mask from dermalogica an exfoliating and hydrating mask it is the hydro mask exfoliant this one here i love um a lot of dermalogic products the majority of dermalogical products I've talked about it in other videos it was a place um, in new york city downtown that i would get facials and i just i used to get facials there religiously and for a while i only used their products and they're just some of the best products out there it's a sort of a toss-up for me i really love caudalie as well um, because that's another boutique that i used to visit pre-pandemic to take care of my skin. Um, any other skincare that I have here? I also have the Haru Haru Wonder Oil. This is a little oil I have. This is incredible. This I mix with the B, B um, Hydra Serum from Drunk Elephant or any serum and it's a black rice um, oil and it smells like heaven to me it smells very very earthy i love that that smell just very kind of organic and it's a beautiful oil i don't know where i got this but i i, I definitely want to get the full size of that eventually once i get through stuff and then i think the rest i have are kind of like sort of makeup be products or makeup more or less oh well i have a lip scrub i want to get through a sarah hap lip scrub. I just, this is in um, pumpkin spice latte. Slight, slightly, slight smell of pumpkin spice latte. It's a super gritty scrub, so I, I want to leave that out on my desk and get some good use. I have um, my, for lip balms, I'll just make mention, I have three. I have the Fresh Coconut Hydrating Lip Balm, this one here which I've already hit pan on, which I'll photograph and stuff. I love, love this. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I won't have like a pressing need to get through it. Uh, this one on the other hand, I don't love as much, but it's super convenient. This is the Sugar Advanced Therapy. It's a mini size and I don't have very much there. Kind of crumbles. All their products in like kind of stick form for me, they just crumble and that's one of the reasons I don't love them. And then I also have the um, EOS balm, lip balm, med, uh, medicated lip balm in cooling chamomile. This one that comes in this container 
And this is sort of one that I just have always around. So I've already made quite a dent there. Um, and I suspect I will be finishing that soon. Makeup, makeup. A cosmetic CC cream in the color light. I mix it with this mini in the color fair. So together they're what I, what I want to get through and use. I also have a concealer by Bare Minerals. It's the Bare Skin uh, Serum Concealer in light. I'll have to weigh that. I have a little primer water from Smashbox, which I'm almost done with. I love this stuff. I think it's a great, great um, priming water, but also setting spray, also like a, a good one to use to brighten an, an eyeshadow and make it more metallic. It's very comparable, I feel like, to the Max, MAC Fix Plus, but I sort of like this one better. I also like the container of this better. I might keep this and transfer my MAC Fix Plus into it next. Um, I'm The Milani eyeshadow primer, I just, I need to get through this. I think it's okay. It's not my favorite one, but I've had it for a while and I feel like I need to use it before, before I lose it. Um, I have my, my e.l.f. eyebrow pen pencil in my, in my hand. So this one is in neutral brown, I believe. Yes. And I barely have any product left. So for sure, I will have this done by next month. Um, I also wanted to include a lip product. This is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in the color Holiday Spritz. So I think this is not going to be that difficult to pan. I feel like these little click products, they, um, they get used up quite quickly. So I'm going to have to weigh this one because there's no way to click it out and then measure it and then click it back in. Um, but it is a nice product and it's sort of a nudie color. So it's a great topper if you want a kind of a glossy look, but it's also really hydrating and nice on the lips. And I just feel like it would be good by my desk in my office. Um, butter bronzer. Yes, I'm doing this people in light. I've already panned it. I'm going to keep using it. Um, and I'm going to have to establish like a try to use however many times a month. I like when uh, I watch Sarah Rose and she does that and I love that. So I, I think I, I can I can do that like a manageable amount of time. I also have a mini veil by Hourglass. Um, this one I guess I will weigh. It's okay. I'm not a powder person. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I'm not a powder person so I need I don't need to buy the fanciest powder on the planet to powder my face the two times that I powder it a year. It's it's weird. So I'm gonna try to powder a little bit more. I feel like um, I have been using some more emollient base products like the Stila product. So that one doesn't look terrible. If you powder over it, it still gives you that dewy effect. So maybe that's okay to use, I don't know. And then I have a little mini of the um, Clean Slate Timeless from, from Tarte. It's this one here. It's a little primer, great for pore filling. Um, it's not my favorite. I think my favorite is the Clarins one. And I also have one, a new one from uh, Hard Candy. So I feel like I want to get to use those. And this one is kind of standing in my way. Anything else? I, I'm just not, I'm not always going to have this amount. I just wanted to start off the year with a big bang. So I hope you're into that. Um, stay tuned for next month. I'm going to try to do these on the first and there I will kind of have a chart. I'll make it all nice and pretty. Um, make a chart and show you weighing and stuff. Right now I'm going to actually just weigh everything and write it all out. So I have it somewhere. So if you're doing a project plan, let me know. What do you, and if you have experience doing this, like, let me know. I, I, I would like advice. Although again, I know I intentionally did not take a lot of advice starting off because I'm 
starting off with a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, anywho, um, come back, come back, uh, again and visit me. Um, normally I will be doing content more related to makeup, but yes, project panning is important too. Okay. Hope everyone's having a great day and is kicking off the weekend in a very happy spirited manner, but safe. Okay. Bye everyone. We'll talk later.